fungi come in fascinating arrays of shapes, sizes, and colors, but some species stand out for their truly bizarre and peculiar characteristics. From these weird shapes to unique behaviors, the world of fungi offers a treasure trove of weird and wonderful specimens. So join me for today's video. We're going to explore 15 of the weirdest types of fungus. Number 15. Zombie Fungus well, how could we not start off our list with a fungus that has a name like this? And by the way, zombie fungus isn't just a name. This stuff really does what it says and would be just at home in a George Romero movie as it is on our list. Zombie fungus, scientifically known as Ophiocordyceps, is a group of fascinating and eerie fungi that's captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. These unique fungi have gained notoriety for their ability to infect and manipulate the behavior of insects, effectively turning them into zombies to serve their own reproductive needs. The life cycle of zombie fungus begins when the fungal spores come into contact with the suitable host, typically an insect or an arthropod, which then germinate, invade the host's body, grow inside, and eventually take control of its behavior. As the infection progresses, the fungus manipulates the host's nervous system, forcing it to act in ways that benefit the fungus's reproductive process. One of the most well-known examples of zombie fungus is Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, which infects ants. Once inside the ant's body, the fungus releases chemicals that alter the ant's behavior, causing it to leave its colony and climb to an elevated location. The ant then attaches itself to a leaf or a twig where it eventually dies. The fungus continues to grow and consume the ant's body, eventually bursting out of its head to release the spores and infect other potential hosts. Zombie fungus has evolved this manipulative behavior as a survival strategy. By controlling the behavior of their hosts, these fungi increase their chances of reproducing and spreading their spores to new hosts. Beyond this creepy reputation, zombie fungus also holds scientific interest. Researchers study these fungi to better understand the mechanisms behind their mind-controlling abilities, as well as their potential applications in various fields, including medicine and agriculture. Number 14. The Devil's Fingers And while we're on the subject of fungi that sound like they should be in a horror movie, here's another example with an equally terrifying name. But as you can see, once again, this is more than simply a name. It's a pretty good description of the thing you're looking at, which certainly bears more than a passing resemblance to a demonic hand trying to drag itself out of hell. Devil's Fingers, scientifically known as Calthris archeri, is native to Australia and New Zealand, but can also be found in various other parts of the world, where its bizarre appearance never fails to capture attention. The Devil's Fingers fungus begins life as a white sort of egg that grows underground. As it matures, the egg ruptures, revealing a mass of reddish-pink tentacles that emerge and extend outwards. These elongated arms, which can reach up to 10 centimeters in length, are slender and often curled, resembling writhing fingers or tentacles. The foul smell emitted by Devil's Fingers is another intriguing aspect of this fungus. The odor, often described as a mix of rotting flesh and dung, attracts flies and other insects. As these creatures are drawn to the scent, they inadvertently aid in the dispersal of the fungus's spores, which are located on the inner surface of the tentacles. This adaptation ensures the continued survival and propagation of the Devil's Fingers species. Despite its somewhat unsettling appearance and pungent aroma, Devil's Fingers are not harmful to humans or animals. In fact, they play a beneficial role in the environment by aiding in the decomposition of organic matter and recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. Its unusual form and striking coloration make it a captivating subject for nature enthusiasts and photographers, although it is essential to appreciate Devil's Fingers in their natural habitat and refrain from disturbing or collecting them, allowing these unique organisms to thrive and fulfill their ecological roles. Number 13. The Devil's Cigar so, what would the devil hold in those fingers of his? Well, especially if he turned out to be a successful businessman with no interest in looking after his lungs. Well, he'd hold a devil's cigar, of course. The devil's cigar, scientifically known as Corioactus giaster, is a rare and enigmatic mushroom that captures attention with its peculiar and intricate appearance. Also referred to as the Texas Star, this fascinating fungus is highly sought after by mushroom enthusiasts due to its unique characteristics and limited distribution. This devil cigar is native to a small region in central Texas in the United States, and it's one of the rarest mushrooms in the world. It typically grows in dense clusters on decaying wood, particularly on rotting hardwood logs or tree stumps. The fruiting body of the mushroom consists of a long cylindrical stem that expands into a distinct star-shaped head. 
What sets it apart is its remarkable ability to transform its appearance. When young and underdeveloped, it resembles a closed cigar, hence the name. As it matures, it opens up to reveal a delicate star-shaped head that splits into multiple lobes, resembling a starfish or a hand with fingers extended. The color of the devil's cigar varies depending on its stage of development. When young, it appears dark brown or black, and as it matures, it often transforms into a lighter brown or tan color. This unique combination of shape and color makes it one of the most visually captivating mushrooms found in nature. Encountering it in the wild is a rare and thrilling experience. Due to its limited distribution and elusive nature, however, finding this mushroom requires patience, persistence, and of course a bit of luck. Despite its enchanting appearance, little is known about the ecology and biology of the Devil's Cigar. Its life cycle, habitat requirements, and special ecological roles remain largely mysterious. Ongoing research aims to shed light on these aspects, contributing to our understanding of this elusive and captivating species. Number 12. Turkey Tail You could never accuse the people who name fungus of not being literal enough, and it's the same with the next entry on our list, which does look a lot like something you might pluck out of a turkey's rear end before placing it on your Thanksgiving table. The turkey tail fungus, or Tramites versicolor mushroom, has captured the attention of scientists and enthusiasts alike. Not only is it visually striking, but turkey tail fungus also boasts a myriad of health benefits, making it a prized ingredient in traditional medicine and a subject of research in modern science. Found across the globe, turkey tail fungus is known for its colorful, fan-shaped caps, displaying a spectrum of shades ranging from deep browns and purples to vivid blues and greens. These concentric rings of color make it a natural beauty, easily recognizable among other fungi. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, however, turkey tail fungus has a rich history of medicinal use. Traditional Chinese medicine has long recognized its healing properties, employing it to strengthen the immune system and treat various ailments. Modern research has further shed light on the fungus's therapeutic potential. It also contains a range of bioactive compounds, including polysaccharides, flavonoids, and phenols, all of which exhibit potent antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and immunomodulatory properties. Studies have shown they can enhance the body's immune response, making it an effective ally against infections and chronic diseases. In fact, turkey tail fungus has gained particular attention for its potential cancer treatment. Researchers have discovered that its compounds can stimulate the activity of natural killer cells and T-cells, bolstering the body's ability to combat cancer. It's been used as a complementary therapy alongside conventional treatments such as chemotherapy to improve overall outcomes and quality of life for cancer patients. Furthermore, turkey tail fungus shows promise in supporting gut health, too. Those polysaccharides present in the fungus act as prebiotics, nourishing beneficial gut bacteria and promoting a healthy microbiome. This can have far-reaching effects on digestion, nutrient absorption, and overall well-being. What an amazing little fungus. Number 11. The Lion's Mane Mushroom So why is this called the Lion's Mane Mushroom? Well, just look at it. If this thing doesn't belong in the opening scene of a Disney movie set in Africa, then I don't know what does. The lion's mane mushroom, scientifically known as Heraceum arenaceus, is a remarkable fungus that captures attention with its distinct appearance and potential health benefits. Also known as the pom-pom mushroom or the hedgehog mushroom, it's named after its resemblance to the mane of a lion, with cascading white spines that give it a unique and striking appearance. Lion's mane mushroom is native to North America, Europe, and Asia, where it can be found growing on the trunks of hardwood trees, such as oaks and beeches. Its spines hang down in a cascading fashion, forming a dense and shaggy mass that resembles a lion's mane. The mushroom's appearance changes as it ages, transitioning from white to a yellowish or brownish color. Beyond its intriguing appearance, lion's mane mushroom has gained attention for its potential health benefits. It's believed to have medicinal properties that support brain health and cognitive function. Researchers also suggest that lion's mane mushroom may contain compounds that may stimulate the growth and repair of nerve cells, potentially enhancing memory, focus, and overall mental well-being. Additionally, it is rich in antioxidants, which can help protect the body against oxidative stress and inflammation. In culinary circles, however, lion's mane mushroom is valued for its delicate seafood-like flavor and meaty texture. It can be used in various dishes, including stir-fries, soups, and even as a meat substitute in vegetarian or vegan recipes. Its unique taste and texture add a gourmet touch to meals and make it a favorite among chefs and food enthusiasts. Mind you, as with any wild mushroom, it's important to exercise caution and ensure proper identification when foraging. 
the wrong mushroom could quite literally kill you on the spot. Number 10. The Indigo Milk Cap The Indigo Milk Cap, or Lactarius Indigo, is a captivating mushroom species that can be found in North America and European forests. The most striking feature of the indigo milk cap is its vivid blue to purplish cap, which can grow up to 10 centimeters in diameter and is adorned with intricate lighter blue lines that radiate from the center, creating a mesmerizing pattern. Its stem, often shorter than the cap, shares the same intense blue coloration. When the mushroom is damaged or cut, it exudes a milky, latex-like substance that quickly turns green upon exposure to air. This transformation adds to its mystique and makes it easily distinguishable from other mushrooms. It prefers growing in association with deciduous or coniferous trees, thriving in acidic soil. However, locating this elusive mushroom can be a challenge due to its excellent camouflage among the forest floor's leaf litter. It's typically seen during the summer and autumn months when it emerges to reveal its vibrant hues. While it is known for its beauty, it also holds significance beyond its appearance. The latex it secretes when injured or cut is an interesting characteristic. Initially deep blue, the latex gradually changes to a greenish color, adding to the intrigue surrounding this species. When it comes to edibility, the indigo milk cap is considered edible but not widely consumed. Some individuals may experience gastrointestinal discomfort after consuming it, so caution is advised. Proper identification and preparation are essential before incorporating this mushroom into any culinary endeavors. Like everything with the word milk in the title, you should always check if it's okay before you think about consuming it. Number 9. The Stinkhorn Mushroom Yep, you can stop giggling at the back of the class because all your suspicions are correct. The name says it all. This thing both stinks and looks a lot like a certain part of the human anatomy. The Stinkhorn Mushroom, scientifically known as Phallus impudicus, is a truly unique and remarkable fungus that draws attention with its distinctive appearance and, as the name suggests, its unpleasant odor. This fascinating mushroom belongs to the family Phalliceae, and it's known for its phallic shape, making it a subject of curiosity and intrigue. The Stinkhorn Mushroom starts life as a small, egg-shaped structure emerging from the ground. The outer layer of the egg-like structure, called the peridium, is often white or pale in color and may be covered in a slimy substance. As the mushroom matures, the phallic structure emerges, growing rapidly to reach heights of up to 8 inches or more, or at least that's what it tells any potential partners it might meet at a nightclub. The mature stinkhorn mushroom is characterized by its phallic shape, with tall, slender stalk topped by a cap-like head. The cap is covered in a foul-smelling spore mass that emits a putrid odor, often likened to the smell of rotting flesh or feces. This distinctive odor is an important feature of this mushroom's reproductive strategy, attracting flies and other insects that help disperse its spores. While the smell of this thing may be offensive to humans, it does serve an important ecological purpose. The foul odor acts as a lure to carrion-eating insects, such as flies, which become covered in spores as they feed on the mushroom. These insects will then carry the spores to new locations, aiding in the dispersion and reproduction of this fungus. Despite that pungent odor, the stinkhorn mushroom is not harmful to humans or animals, although it's not typically consumed for fairly obvious reasons. However, in some cultures, it has been used in traditional medicine for various purposes, including treating skin conditions and digestive disorders. Number 8. Earth Star Fungus well, perhaps the most sci-fi sounding fungus on our list, Earth Star fungus, belonging to the family Gastraceae, is a captivating and a peculiar group of fungi known for their unique appearance and fascinating life cycle, characterized by star-shaped fruiting bodies, which consist of an outer layer and an inner spore-bearing structure. The Earth Star fungi are found in various regions across the globe, often growing in forested areas or woodland habitats. They're typically found on the ground, emerging from leaf litter, soil, or decaying wood. The fruiting body starts as a closed spherical structure, often resembling an egg or a puffball. Then as it matures, the outer layers split open, revealing the inner spore sac, which expands and forms a star-like shape. This star-like structure of the Earth Star fungus serves multiple functions. When closed, it's protecting the developing spores inside, and as the outer layer splits open, it creates a cup-like structure that elevates that spore sac, allowing better dispersal of the spores. The spores are released through an opening at the top of the spore sac, and they can be carried away by the wind or dispersed by animals and insects. The colors of an earth star fungi vary depending on the species, ranging from shades of brown and tan to vibrant reds and oranges. Some species have a velvety or fuzzy texture on the outer layer, adding to their unique and visually appealing appearance. 
While Earth Star fungi are not typically consumed by humans, they play a crucial ecological role. They are part of the decomposition process, breaking down organic matter and recycling nutrients back into the soil. They also provide habitat and food sources for various organisms, including insects and, of course, other fungi. Number 7. Blue Stain Fungus Yep, another fungus, another unpleasant-sounding name. After all, the word stain is never used to describe anything nice, is it? Blue stain fungus, scientifically known as Ophiostoma, is a group of fungi that play a significant role in the degradation and discoloration of wood. These fungi are notable for their ability to cause blue staining in various types of timber, often leading to aesthetic and economic concerns in the forestry and construction industries. The blue stain fungus primarily infects living trees through wounds or openings created by bark beetles or other wood-boring insects. Once inside the tree, the fungi colonize the wood and produce enzymes that break down the cell walls, allowing them to extract nutrients. As a result, the wood fibers become discolored, turning a distinct blue or grayish hue. The blue staining is caused by pigments produced by the fungi during the degradation process. These pigments, known as melanins, give the infected wood its characteristic color. While the staining may appear unsightly, it doesn't necessarily affect the structural integrity of the wood. However, the presence of blue stained fungus can have significant consequences for the forest industry, as infected trees may be deemed less valuable due to the visual impairment caused by the blue staining. In addition, the staining can impact the marketability of lumber and other wood products, as consumers often prefer wood that's free from discoloration. Efforts to control or prevent the spread of blue stained fungus tend to focus on minimizing the susceptibility of trees to bark beetle infestations. Proper forest management practices, such as the removal of infested trees or the application of preventative treatments, can help mitigate the impact of these fungi on commercial timber. In natural ecosystems, however, blue stain fungus plays a vital ecological role in the decomposition process. By breaking down wood, these fungi contribute to the nutrient cycle and the release of carbon and other organic compounds back into the environment. They also create habitat and food sources for various organisms, including insects and other decomposers. Number 6. The Cauliflower Mushroom the cauliflower mushroom, scientifically known as Sparasis crispa, is a unique and visually striking fungus that bears a resemblance to its namesake vegetable, and it's known for its distinct appearance, culinary value, and interesting ecological role. The cauliflower mushroom is found in various parts of the world, typically in forested areas with coniferous or hardwood trees, and grows as a large, irregularly shaped mass with multiple branches that branch out in a cauliflower-like pattern. These branches are a pale to creamy white in color, forming a convoluted and frilly structure that can span several inches or more. Aside from its eye-catching appearance, the cauliflower mushroom is highly regarded for its culinary qualities. It's got a mild and nutty flavor with a tender yet firm texture. The mushroom's unique shape and texture make it a versatile ingredient in various dishes, including stir-fries, soups, and pasta dishes. It absorbs flavors well and complements a wide range of ingredients, making it a favorite among chefs and mushroom enthusiasts. In terms of ecology, the cauliflower mushroom plays an important role in forest ecosystems. It's a saprophytic fungus, meaning it obtains nutrients by decomposing dead organic matter, particularly the roots of trees. By breaking down decaying plant material, it contributes to nutrient recycling and helps facilitate the cycle of life in forest ecosystems. Its unique appearance and culinary potential make it a sought-after find, both for its visual appeal and its delectable taste. Number 5. Amethyst Deceiver Now, this may sound like a personality characteristic rather than a description of a mushroom, but believe it or not, the name does sum up what this thing does pretty well. The Amethyst Deceiver, scientifically known as Lacaria amethystina, is a captivating and visually striking mushroom that's known for its vibrant purple coloration and deceptive appearance. Typically growing in association with trees, particularly in deciduous and carniferous forests, it features a convex or bell-shaped cap with a smooth surface, the color of which can vary from a rich purple hue to lilac or pinkish tones, and can change and fade with age or environmental conditions. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where that name comes from, because what sets the amethyst deceiver apart is its deceptive nature. Despite its vibrant appearance, this mushroom is known for its ability to blend seamlessly with its surroundings, making it difficult to spot. 
Its coloration allows it to camouflage among fallen leaves and mosses, evading detection by potential predators or foragers. While the amethyst deceiver is not widely considered edible, it's not toxic either. Its taste is mild, and the mushroom is often deemed as lacking desirable culinary qualities. However, it occasionally is included in mushroom forays and used in recipes that call for its striking appearance rather than its taste. In addition to its visual appeal, the amethyst deceiver plays a role in forest ecosystems. It forms mycorrhizal associations with tree roots, exchanging nutrients and aiding in the overall health of the forest. Encountering the amethyst deceiver in the wild is a magical experience for any mushroom hunter. Its striking coloration and elusive nature reminds us of the wonders and mysteries of the natural world, where even the most vibrant and most beautiful organisms can be masters of disguise. Number 4. Bird's Nest Fungus Bird's Nest Fungus, scientifically known as Cyathus, is a fascinating group of fungi that gets its name from its unique and distinctive appearance. These tiny fungi resemble miniature bird's nests, complete with eggs inside, and can be found in various habitats around the world. The fruiting body of the bird's nest fungus consists of a cup-shaped structure called the peridium, which resembles a nest. This peridium is typically small, ranging from a few millimeters to a few centimeters in diameter. Inside the peridium, a small spore-containing structure called peridiols are present, resembling tiny eggs in a nest. These peridiols are attached to the inner wall of the peridium by delicate threads. The unique shape and structure of bird's nest fungus serve a vital purpose in reproduction. When raindrops or water splashes hit the peridium, it creates a force that ejects the peridiols out of the cup-like structure. The peridiols are then dispersed into the environment, ensuring the spread of fungus to new areas. This fungus is commonly found in forested areas, of course, especially in decaying wood or leaf litter. They thrive in moist conditions, and their presence is often associated with decomposition processes. These fungi play an essential role in nutrient recycling, breaking down organic matter and contributing to the overall health of the forest ecosystem. Despite their diminutive size, bird's nest fungi have captivated the interests of nature enthusiasts and photographers. Their intricate and delicate structures, resembling nests cradling tiny eggs, make for captivating subjects in macro photography. Number 3. Dead Man's Fingers all right, more fingers. Yep, we're back to horror movies again, although this one could also double up as the title of a Pirates of the Caribbean sequel. Dead Man's Fingers, scientifically known as Xyleria polymorpha, is a fungus that earns its name from its eerie resemblance to charred, blackened fingers emerging from the ground. This distinctive and somewhat macabre appearance has made it a fascinating subject for nature enthusiasts and photographers alike. Found in forests around the world, dead man's fingers typically grow on decaying wood, especially on fallen trees or stumps. The fungus starts as a small, finger-like structure that gradually elongate and branch out, resembling the skeletal remains of human fingers reaching up from the forest floor. That dark, charcoal-like color adds to its uncanny resemblance, lending an air of mystery to its presence. Despite its sinister appearance, though, dead man's fingers play an essential role in the ecosystem. They are decomposers, breaking down organic matter and recycling nutrients back into the environment. By feeding on dead wood, they contribute to the natural process of decay and play a crucial role in forest nutrient cycles. Dead man's fingers are not harmful to humans or animals and pose no real threat. However, their unique appearance has given rise to various myths and superstitions throughout history. In folklore, they've been associated with death and the supernatural, adding to their mystique again and capturing the imagination. Encountering dead man's fingers in the wild can be a captivating experience. The eerie form and dark coloration create a striking contrast against the natural surroundings. However, it's important to appreciate them in their natural habitat and refrain from disturbing or collecting them, allowing these fascinating fungi to fulfill their ecological role undisturbed. Their haunting appearance and role in the cycle of life and death make them a prime example of nature's ability to create both beauty and intrigue in unexpected forms. Number 2. Bleeding Tooth Fungus Brace yourself, fungus fans, because the sickening names just keep coming. And as if some of these names weren't bad enough, we're now going to keep saying a phrase which instantly makes you think of a visit to the dentist. The bleeding tooth fungus, scientifically known as Hydnellum pecci, is a peculiar and captivating fungus that stands out with its unique and unsettling appearance. Found in various parts of North America, Europe, and Asia, this fungus gets its common name from its remarkable ability to exude a red fluid that resembles blood, earning it a reputation as one of the most unusual and intriguing fungi in the world. 
Bleeding tooth fungus is easily recognizable by its spiky, tooth-like projections that cover its cap and stem. The fungus starts off with a pale off-white or beige color, but as it matures, the tips of the spines turn a deep red and begin to ooze a blood-like substance. This fluid is not actual blood, of course, but a pigmented liquid that contains various compounds, including pigments and anticoagulant properties. The purpose of this bleeding phenomenon is still not fully understood. Some theories suggest that the red fluid may act as a deterrent to potential predators, while others propose that it may add in attracting insects for spore dispersal. Regardless of the exact function, the bleeding feature adds an eerie and captivating element to the bleeding tooth fungus. And despite its unsettling appearance, the fungus is not harmful to humans or animals. In fact, it serves a vital ecological role as a decomposer. Like other fungi, it feeds on decaying organic matter, assisting in the breakdown and recycling of nutrients in the forest ecosystem. As with many other fungi on our list, it's important to leave these things undisturbed, which is probably the exact opposite advice we'd be giving you if you had bleeding teeth. Number 1. Dog Vomit Slime Mold well, I saved the worst for last. Could any of the names of the fungi we've discussed so far be quite as unpleasant as this one? And yes, once more, it really does look like the thing it's named after. The dog vomit slime mold, scientifically known as Fulgio septica, is a fascinating and somewhat repulsive organism that captures attention with its peculiar appearance and intriguing life cycle. Despite its unappealing name, however, this unique slime mold plays an important ecological role and offers valuable insights into the complexity of nature. Dog vomit slime mold typically appears as a bright yellow or orange mass resembling regurgitated dog food, or as its name suggests, dog vomit. It can be found in damp, shady areas such as forest floors, decaying wood, or mulch, initially presenting as a gelatinous substance, but transforming as it matures into a powdery or crusty texture. The life cycle of the dog vomit slime mold is truly remarkable. It starts as individual cells that come together and merge to form a larger multicellular organism known as plasmodium. This plasmodium is often spread over several square feet. It engulfs organic matter as it moves, feeding on bacteria, fungi, and other organic material, a feeding process which is an essential part of its ecological role as a decomposer. As the plasmodium reaches maturity, it undergoes a transformation. It stops feeding, migrates to a suitable location, and eventually transforms into a mass of spore-bearing structures. These structures release spores into the environment, which can be dispersed by winds, insects, or other means. These spores then germinate and begin the cycle anew. Although the dog vomit slime mold may not be visually appealing, it plays a vital role in nutrient recycling and decomposition processes. By breaking down dead plant material and organic matter, it contributes to the ecosystem's balance and helps release nutrients back into the soil, promoting the growth of new life. In other words, it's not anywhere near as disgusting as the real stuff. I'll see you next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos. The Top 5 Show has launched channel memberships. Thank you to our channel members.